Hi, my name is Vincent Prom, and this is how to save runtime changes to variables into the editor. So normally, you would use save games to save change variables and then load them back whenever necessary to get those values back. However, you can't package a save game dot save file, um, not easily at least, and package builds won't be able to access the save games we make in editor. So here's a workaround. Um, for an example, I made a widget that creates an array of 100 random integers. Uh, I can also print whatever is stored in the int array variable right here. So if we run it, you can see it working. And if I print, it prints it good. But if I get out of play and editor and restart it, it's not going to print anything since the runtime changes aren't saved. So in order to save the runtime changes, we're still going to use the save game class. So I'm going to make a new save game. And in it, I'm going to make a variable of an int array type. Um, if you need to store more than one variable, I recommend you create a struct variable instead and just put um, all the types in there instead. And now, uh, whenever I generate an array of in integers, I'm going to make it so they get saved. All right, so now we're saving this created save game object. We're setting the array to this array in the widget, and then we're saving it to the slot uh, named int. Um, so now we need a, a way to access these generated values. OK, we need a way to uh, access them. So I'm going to create another actor, and this is going to act as like a getter. Uh, in this actor, in the construction script, which runs um, at editor time and not during runtime. We're going to make a, uh, a little function that loads the game in the same slot, gets the variable. Oh. And then we're going to save this as a variable in the getter. and expose it. Now in the plain editor, I'm going to generate an array of ints. I'm going to close it, and if we use our int getter, we can see that it has the randomized 100 array elements. Now you can just copy it and paste it wherever you need to paste it. And now I can access that array anywhere 